you may be thinking about what to make for lunch. Making a delicious bowl of your favorite soup has never been easier. KCRE 3's Deirdre Fitzpatrick shares some easy recipes that you can make in your own kitchen today. With the weather we've had in the last week, soup has just sounded so good to so many people. And there's so many different things you can do in the kitchen to make your soups more interesting and also to have them ready whenever you need it by freezing them. Patty Mastraco from Raley's is joining us with a whole assortment of soups and some of the tricks to making your soups stand out. Exactly. You can't just have plain old soup. And you cannot just open a can, I'll tell you that. Well, you can. No, but it's not going to taste no, like this. No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and once you make it yourself, you realize how different it really is. Completely different. Yeah, One of the things day. you'll see in the the stores right now are lots and lots of root vegetables and those are great in soups. Exactly and I think people don't understand what or know what a lot of them are so I have some over here. Okay. I'll give you a quick test. You All probably right. do because I think you cook more than most people. Okay. <laughs> okay so you have your squash, butternut yep, squash. Butternut squash, okay. Uh, leek. Leek, yep. I don't. Rutabaga? Uh, you're close. Um, what does it start with? C. C. Look at the tops. Uh, we'll come back to that one. Uh, <laughs> parsnip. <laughs> yes. You have an onion yep. down there. Uh, shallot. Actually. Shallot. Yep. Which is like. What's uh, the difference between onion and shallot? Uh, shallots have a more garlicky taste. Oh, interesting. Yep. Kind of a cross okay. between an onion. This is a turnip. Okay. And there's your rutabaga. And then what is a celery root? That's celery root, which gives you a really nice. Yeah, you peel that gnarly it's stuff away, and I've it has a wonderful mild celery taste. Yeah. All right. Well, now we got yep. that figured yep. out. You so like all to do something special with the root vegetables. Yeah. For you most of those things we just talked about are here. I just peeled them, chopped them up, and then I tossed them with a little olive oil, and I roast them to bring the flavor out. Okay. And that helps them hold up in the soup, and then bring that hold that flavor in the soup. Yeah. Better. Either one, whether you want the cubes or whether you want to puree it. So this, once I had them all roasted, I literally put them in the pan with some basically some chicken broth. Mm -hmm. And that's about it, and cooked it, and a little bit of seasonings, and then I pureed it. Okay. This is such a great tool if you want to uh, puree anything. You don't have to put a hot, you know, hot liquid in a blender. Right. There's Much no safer. And not a lot of cleanup after. Oh, I know. Really nice. You pop it off and yeah, rinse it off. I so. have one of these, yeah. and I think I paid twenty dollars for it. It's probably one of the best tools I have in the kitchen. Did you do a little cream vegetables. in this? I didn't. No. It's, wow. This is just the root vegetables. Yeah. Awesome. Root vegetables broth, and I did a little herbs de Provence. Okay. You have yeah. an assortment of really great soups here, yeah. and then this one is interesting because this is how you're freezing it. Yeah. What soups freeze, which ones won't? Uh, creamy soups are not going to freeze as well. Okay. Anything else is pretty much okay. So anything with legumes, you know, lentils and split peas, they're all going to freeze just fine. Is there any trick to when you freeze it to make it taste better once it's thawed out? Um, you know what? You just don't want the air to hit it. So fill it almost to the top. It's going to expand. So don't fill it all, you know, too high or it, the little pop off. But okay. if you want, you could put a layer of plastic wrap down just to make sure you keep the air out so and you don't get freezer burn. when you're thawing it out or warming it up? Just do it in the fridge. Interesting. Yeah, thaw it in the fridge. Great. Yep. I love yep. the toppings on these soups. Yeah, so these are really rich and hearty, but very easy. So it's some chopped vegetables, put it in the pot, walk away. So this is a split pea soup, but I added some butternut squash and some diced pancetta. So it just mm -hmm. has this lovely smoky flavor. Very good. Uh, this is a, one of my favorites and one of the fastest. It's a red curry, or a, it's a curried red lentil soup, lots of vegetables, and I used a jar of curry sauce. Nothing better this time of year. It's Patty, so easy. Thank yeah. you so much. Great ideas there. These are some really great suggestions and also you can find lots of great soup suggestions or all kinds of great recipes with something extra and you can find that at Rayleigh's.com.